That's a good one. Oh yeah, really good one. This yeah. is what we came out wow. here for. Sheep's head. Hot dang, babe. What's happening, everybody? What's going on, guys? You guys, Christy and I, we have an amazing video coming at y'all. And today's video, you guys, is gonna be featuring Sheep's Head in the Outer Banks, and this video is gonna be brought to you by our official tourism partners, the Outer Banks Visitors Bureau. Go to outerbanks.org, and you guys can totally look at all the cool stuff the Outer Banks offers. And we're actually partnering up. This video is sponsored by Outer Banks Visitors Bureau. And you guys, check them out. And if y'all ever want to plan a trip to the Outer Banks, hit us up, ask us for some suggestions, but check out their website. We'll leave a link in the description below. Outerbanks.org, y'all. All right, people, so let's go ahead. Let's roll this footage and show y'all this amazing day we had sheephead fishing in the Outer Banks. What's happening, everybody? Today, Christy and I. What up, y'all? We're here in the Outer Banks, just launched from Oregon Inlet, and we've got Jeff's good buddy and biz partner. Boom. Owen. So, Owen, when's the last time that you went fishing? It's been years. Years? Years, years as what? they say. It's when's the last time you drove a boat? Years. What was the last fish you caught? Last fish I caught was a little baby croak out of the, <laughs> let's see, it was about this big, and that was probably 2015. Oh my gosh. Say the least. Well, you live in the Outer Banks and it's been we're way too long. I kind of have a tradition also, Owen. People who are new on my boat, you get to, you're, you're driving. Driving the boat today. Driving. Okay. So yeah, today, like Christy was saying, it's all about the sheep's head. Sheep head is sheep, the right way to say head. it. Sheep's head. However, whatever it is, we're catching the there. fish with black stripes. They have teeth and they like crustaceans. And they also like to hang out around bridge pilings. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at all that fish right there. <laughs> that right there is what people say when they look at their depth finder. And maybe they don't know what exactly they're looking at. But this is what we're looking for. So we got about 25 feet of depth, 68 degree water temp. This right here is probably just a bunch of crap that's on the bottom in terms of like structure. And look, this is, this is what we're looking for. All those pilings everything like that so this current is ripping right now got a nice little eddy going on right here so what we're gonna do is we are gonna hop up right here all right Let's hope the dolphin dancer doesn't go uh floating away i know right there we go oh. There's sheep's head right here. Oh my, dang it. I like that bit. There we go, oh my gosh. There we go, fish on. That's a sheep's head. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> You're just smashing with your fish. Target species. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, y'all, we are on a little bridge action. Sheep's head fishing. Oh, nice yeah. On. Them yeah, yeah, people. All right, y'all, this is our target species getting on some sheep head. On the sand fleas. Woo -woo. Nice job. All right, guys, can only go out from here, but these little guys are perfect for eating and super pretty fish. Love these fish. Yep. Hooked up? Yeah, you are. Woo -woo. Here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> you reeled them all the way up to the tip. Way, way too far. Hey, you've been fishing in years. Looks like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all good. We got them. Nice job. Look at that. That's awesome. Your first sheep said? Have you yeah. caught one? Your this first one. First one. Not Ooh, bad. Man. That's the hardest fish to catch. All right, so let me show you all this rig that we're using today. So this right here is just a standard dropper rig right here. So we have our weight at the bottom. We got about a foot up from that. Um, we actually have a tutorial on how to tie these. Um, it's pretty much a high low rig or a bottom rig um, without the high rig, just one part of it. So it's called a dropper rig. We use these for tog fishing for mole crabs. And uh, so these make the perfect bait right here for sheep's head. 
in the perfect world if we had fiddler crabs or like quarter chunks of blue crab that would be awesome just dropping it uh counting back from like five seconds and i don't know the sheep said typically sea bass are going to be at the very bottom so if you're catching a lot of sea bass then maybe come up a few cranks okay <laughs> nice all right y'all time to go pile and hopping that's what we like to do if you guys are hopping on some pilings Bro. not getting bites right away it's usually it's usually a good sign to switch it up a little bit well we've been getting bites but we have it's, been getting one for the big one yes we have been getting been getting bites been getting on on this piling but i figured that we'd switch it up see if that there's bigger quality more quality fish on some other ones all right guys all moored up we've got all of our tackle and we're gonna hit piling number two see if we can pull off some bigger sheep's head okay, dang he bit me off that was big wow i just got whacked that was huge There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, really good one. That's a really good one, people. Really good one. We're gonna net this guy from the boat. Here, here. Sweet. All right, people. That right there was a blast on light action. Christy, Christy was a little upset because you Just had one. They, there's probably fly. like, <laughs> there's probably like 40 of them right there. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that is such a blast on light action. Oh man. There it is. Nice size, sheep's head. Oh yes. There you go. That's a good one. Oh my word. Oh my word. That's a good one. Really good one. Come here. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh my word. Y'all, these, <laughs> we're all on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Tripled oh, up. Uh, oh yeah. Nice job, dude. Oh, that's oh, a good one. Yes, flip them up. Flip them up. Flip them up. Good job. Nice catch, dude. All right, let the uh, bail open. Nice job, dude. That is a nice one. All right. So when y'all are sheep's head fishing, what we're doing is we are right up on this structure. That's what y'all want to do. Um, this works out perfect for us to be standing on the structure. These sheep said what they're doing is they are literally swimming like up and down the pilings and really, and literally like right on the pilings too. So all we're doing is we're starting at the bottom and then you wanna use your rod. Like, so what we're doing is we're pointing our rod tip down. And then when we feel that bite, that subtle bite, you're just like, you just come tight, just like that. You just kind of set the hook like that. You do need to set the hook on sheep's head. That's all you really want to do when you're sheep's head fishing is you're pretty much, oh, there's bites. There we go. Oh, dang. There we go. Jeff is on. <laughs> Fish on. So like we were talking about y'all. Oh, look at that. Ah, that's a good one, babe. Okay, that's a really good one. We might need to get the net. Yeah. Let's get the net. the net. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get in the boat? You ready? Really good one. You got it? Ready? Nice. That's the one that we want. A really nice bite. This is our biggest one of the day. This yeah. is what we came out wow, here this for. This guy's making me actually look like I kind of know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been getting into a lot of different classes today. Really small ones. This piling held some bigger ones. And then this bad boy right here we just pulled in. This guy straight up bent my hook. We usually like to use like thicker hooks. That's a quality sheep head right Get there. Get you some, babe. That's awesome. I was saying, you guys, y'all want to work your bait like in the different like five foot increments so start at the bottom and then just
just use your rod to like come from point your rod tip down to point your rod tip up. That's about five feet. That's all you're doing. That is awesome. Okay, this guy's going in the cooler. Nice. All right, people, that right there is a wrap. Okay. Whoa, crazy waves. Wind is definitely picking up, and we got ourselves a cooler full of these beautiful sheep's head. Dude, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. That man. was so cool. Thank you guys so I'm much. I'm so glad that we got Owen out there. Christy, don't go cool. floating away. Full of sheep's head. Let's do it. hop in the Iron Banks. Y'all need to get out here, get yourself on a big old sheep head. Day is done, y'all. That was the first time that you went fishing in like two, how long? Like five, at, least, at least five years. Five years. Yep. Five years. That's the last time Owen has been fishing. And you caught one of the hardest fish in the ocean to catch today. But we got to get out of here because it's getting crazy. All right, y'all. Here we are back in the kitchen today. I am going to make some ceviche with our sheep's head right here. So, people, that was an amazing day sheep's head fishing and oh that was awesome we got a whole cooler full of these sheep's head so i'm actually going to try out and experiment some different recipes but i wanted to show y'all some amazing sheep's head ceviche that's a very easy recipe um super super easy and all you're going to do is be cooking your fish with these limes right here so anyways let's get right to it like amazing ceviche uh, perfect, perfect size. Look at those teeth. So these fish, they will like swim up pilings like this and that's when they take your bait. You know, they'll sometimes take it going down, but that's all they're doing is they're just like circling around pilings. All right, so this is our first cut. Then all we're gonna do, turn the fish around. So all we're doing is just working our knife right down the filet. From here, we're just gonna just work our blade down the filet. And, all right, here's a little pro tip that I pretty much do in all my videos. So all you're gonna do is just take your knife, cut a hole, and then you can stick your finger through it just like this. Yeah, so this hole right here in the back of the filet just helps you to like pull it off of the, should just come out pretty clean just like that. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, so this right here, amazing quality of meat right here, this sheep's head, and if I really wanted to, I could do some sushi out of it, but I'm gonna stick to the plan and make some ceviche. So all I'm gonna do right now is we're just going to cut it up into some kind of like small bite-sized pieces, about that big right there. So that's all we're doing, just some little pieces like this makes for perfect ceviche. And then we're just gonna put it in this little container. You can put it in a bowl. Okay, so here it is, people. So this right here, this is our sheep's head ceviche. So all we're gonna do, take some limes. I've already got these diced up. I used about, I think I used like four or five limes, but all we're gonna do, I don't know how many I need. Um, we just want enough limes, enough lime juice so that the fish is like fully submerged in the lime juice because that's ceviche, that's how the fish cooks, is the acid in the lime juice. I would just like to say that if there was some sort of like game show that I was on today for like, I don't know, uh, having the perfect amount of limes that you have to buy to appropriately submerge uh, my fish fillets, I would have won. And uh, that's like the first time that's ever happened to me uh, when I go grocery shopping because usually I'll buy like way too much or not enough. I've got all my limes that I just got a nice wrist workout just squeezing all these limes right here. And I'm gonna put a top on this. You could just put these in a bowl, do whatever, and then you know you just put some like saran wrap on top. So we've got the fish fillets fully submerged in the lime juice. I'm gonna go ahead, stick this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And I don't know, I guess I gotta try and figure out something to do for 30 minutes. 
maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll clean the kitchen and, oh, I know, actually, you guys, check this out. So, Kirsty, my wife, you know, one fish, two fish, it's, it's Kirsty and I, we do this YouTube channel. Kirsty's out right now with her friends. All right, so I don't show y'all this to like brag or anything, but I don't know, to all y'all dudes out there, get your wife some flowers. So actually, this is what I'm gonna do for the next 30 minutes. So I'm gonna surprise Christy. I'm gonna clean the kitchen, cause I'm gonna be honest, I don't do the best job with that and come home and there's like fish scales and crap like that on the kitchen floor. So that's how I'm gonna spend 30 minutes. But to all the men out there who got your lady out there, get her some flowers. Guarantee you. And if you ask, you can tell her that one fish, two fish told you. So you guys do that, get your lady some flowers. And uh, yeah, so I gotta find 30 minutes to uh, kill. And that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna clean the kitchen and Chrissy's gonna come home. She's gonna see flowers in a clean kitchen and everything is just going to be amazing because I'm gonna have my ceviche, gonna have some football and gonna have some happy wife action going on you guys that's what it's all about so 30 minutes not too bad got the ceviche in the refrigerator i'll check you guys meantime i'm gonna clean up the kitchen get everything situated show y'all how easy it is to make this sheep's head ceviche taste amazing That right there, people, that's how, oh man, I feel really good about that. Past 30 minutes, <sighs> clean kitchen. Christy is gonna love it. Look at this, everything super clean. It smells lemony fresh, but check this out. To top this off, oh yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Two. Christy, a clean kitchen for my super hot double underline wife. Period. Love, Jeff. Christy? Hi. Look what I did. What'd you do? Seriously? <gasps> oh, you cleaned the whole kitchen. I know. It looks so good. Doesn't it? Are you getting me on video? Maybe. Wait, this is so sweet. Is this for me for lunch? No, that's my ceviche. Oh. But you can have some of it. What's that I got really right? excited. I was like, you made me tacos? <gasps> well, you can have some of my That's ceviche. what I thought this was all about, the tacos. You put it on top of the tortillas. And I saw chips. You don't need chips. Well, it's for the ceviche. This looks so good. Doesn't it? I know. I've never seen it so clean. Uh -huh. Thank you. My hot husband. Y'all, ladies, get yourself a man who can clean up a kitchen. That's right. <laughs> 30 minutes later... That plan was executed to perfection. So here it is. This is our fish. As you can see, it's a little bit more white. Um, it's only been in here for 30 minutes because I am super starving. So this is the ceviche. Okay, here it is. So we have diced cucumbers, diced tomatoes, onions, and avocado. So this is so easy. All we're gonna do is put our mix-ins right here in this bowl. So cucumbers, tomatoes, put some onions in there. Um, let's do some avocado. Love ceviche, super tasty and very healthy as well. So all right, avocado, solid base. All right, then put the fish. Oh my God. Put some salt in here. A little bit of pepper. 
that's it, people. There it is. That is ultimate sheep's head Hot ceviche. Dang, babe. That smells amazing. So, all right. If you want to add a little bit of variety to it, here's uh, another thing that you can do. Add some salsa to it. Y'all, this is like amazing. So check this out. Ooh. Put some salsa in here. <laughs> Take some chips. Oh my gosh, I'm so starving. And I know this is gonna taste amazing. Okay, here we go. Make sure we get some fish up in there. Tostito ceviche. That's right. There it is. Ceviche, baby. <laughs> that kind of. So good. <laughs> so good. So, here. that's what you can do to add a little pizzazz to it. Christy and I are actually in the process okay. of moving. <laughs> so, what I would normally do is you can take like a wine glass or take like, I don't know, something that looks nice. Put this in that. And that is amazing. But here it is, people. This is the sheep's head. Is that dank? Ceviche. It's dope. So this is the without the salsa. But as you can see, the fish has been cooked in the lime juice, nice and white, and just the acid has cooked it. And you guys, it's so good. Ceviche tacos. Are you kidding me? So you can do chips or you can just do tacos or you can just eat it. Martin, eat lunch. Mm. That's so good. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, give us a little subscribe and hit that notification bell and thumbs up. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed our little catch and cook video for you guys. A little Outer Banks action. Just got in from a beach walk with some girlfriends and came into my amazing husband cleaning my kitchen, making lunch. What can get any better than that? That's right. <laughs> and we got football. Come on. Heck to the yeah. That's All right, awesome. people, get up off your butt. Go catch some fish. Peace out. Peace out.